talk about size. Ashley Williams got last second flip. You get him to flip from the SEC to the Pac-12 in Arizona State on the edge. How did you get that done? And what do you need him to do once he gets to campus for your defense? Have you ever been to uh, Tempe, Arizona in the uh, wintertime? It's a good time. That's how we got that done is a lot of kids, they they think that, you know, Arizona and they think Phoenix, they think Tempe, you're going to see, you know, cowboys, you know, riding around with cowboy hats on horses around dirt roads. And they get here and they realize, holy cow, this is the fifth biggest metropolitan city in the country. It's 65 degree out, degrees out and sunny, and it's December and January, and it's one of the fastest growing cities in the country. And then they get around our staff, which is just filled with genuine people. So how do we do it? We have an unbelievable situation here for student athletes to come live in a place that people retire in and that people move to after they're done playing in the NFL. And combine that with the staff that we put together, uh, I think once people start to see what we're building here, I don't think he'll be the last. Portal. What was the philosophy? What continues to be the philosophy uh, in the portal? Get people who are hungry who want to be here. The entire philosophy that we're, whether it's portal or high school, whether it's our own roster, is you better want to be here. When I meet with every person, I say, do you want to be here? I'm not going to trick you into coming. This isn't a trick. I'm not trying to trick kids into joining the roster. This is Arizona State. This is a, a job I've dreamt of. This is a place that I think has the ultimate potential, right? You want people who walk into the building and say, let's go. Not walk into the building and say, what did you promise me? No, it's walk into the building and say, let's go. And if we get 85 dudes who walk into the building and say, let's go, it's go time every single day, we got a chance. Let's go. I want to get there that first Thursday night game. Call it like it like it's tomorrow, man. Uh, a quarterback who may be under center for you or in the shock, and it'll be Drew Pine, transferred from Notre Dame. How did that come to fruition, and what have you learned about Drew in your time around him and now since he's been on campus? Yeah, I mean, I've uh, you know I have some connections in the in the QB private training world just from my time coaching guys uh, at my prior schools. I can't really talk about those guys, uh, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, some of those guys I've coached have had some success and people have seen that success. And uh, I believe I'm a good person. So these people who see my quarterbacks have success, some of these guys, and then they see, they know me as a person, they want to send kids here. They want to send kids for somebody they trust. So I think that's just me being able to develop that trust with some influential people in the quarterback world. And they know that if they send their quarterback to me, that, uh, you know, I'm going to take care of them. And then things I've learned about Drew is he's the ultimate competitor. He's a guy who's going to shut his mouth and go to work. He's about the work. Uh, and I think that's really what separates quarterbacks and separates leaders is leadership is not always what you say. For the most part, it's how you do something. And you have to be able to live it every single day. And so far, Drew's come in. He hasn't said much. He's just gone to work uh, because that's what he has to do if he wants to compete to win the job at quarterback.